Hello everyone and thank you for watching. This is Life Expectancy bringing you a review and achievement guide for Cross Crush. This game is developed by Thin Ice Games and published for consoles by Rattalaka. It's a sort of puzzler, although I gotta admit it's a, it's a weird one. Um, I've got all the achievements in the game more or less included in this video. You'll see that I'm starting the first level right now and doing uh, the, the first thing that I knocked out in this video is completing an entire level, which each level is 10 waves, with getting a bonus on every wave. In order to get the bonus score of either 250 or 500, you need to complete each wave in fewer or equal moves to the upper right hand corner. So you'll see this wave, the requisite is two moves, and I completed it in two moves, so I got the bonus. If you complete it in fewer moves, for instance, if I had done that first one in one move, which it is impossible, but if I had, then you get 500. If you complete it in the exact number of moves, uh, that is the max allowed, then you get 250. If you go over that number of moves, then you don't get the bonus. So you have to complete all 10 waves of a level, getting a bonus score in order to get what I would say is probably the hardest achievement in the game. But it's not that hard. This first, le first level is extremely easy to complete all the waves in the same number or less number of moves on the top right. So I just showed all 10 waves of the first level here while doing a couple of other things. Um, there's a you know miscellaneous cumulative achievements for whacking cars with your cane. Um, there's one for destroying three ambulances, which you'll most likely get naturally. And then there are some other miscellaneous ones where you'll have to play specific ways, like completing the final wave of level three and the final wave of level eight on, uh, I think it's called last will mode and getting the bonus score in those that last level of levels three and eight on last will mode. So I show those uh, in this video as well. There's only one or two achievements I don't include, but they're just ones that you would get through the natural course of play. Uh, I don't show the 10 combo achievement because I show where you can get the 20 combo achievement and that will give you both of the achievements if you didn't for some reason get the 10 combo as you're playing through the game. Um, I've got text on screen to show or explain a few things along the way. So I'm not going to narrate through the whole video. I just wanted to explain that up front within the first couple of minutes so that if you are using this video as an achievement guide, you should be able to follow along pretty simply. It's only about a 13 minute video, so it should make it quick work for you to get through this game. The full 1000 is probably going to take you about an hour, give or take, but it's a relatively simple game. I don't show all the levels. I show all the way through the first level and all the way through the third level. But other than that, um, I just indicate that you need to go and just play on normal mode for levels two and then levels four, five, six, and seven and play on last wall mode for levels three and eight for those achievements. But I only actually show the entirety of levels one and three, and then level eight, I skip through most of the waves because I've already shown you how to get through it easily by playing through the third level and showing how you can just do one column of cars and not actually destroy them all. You don't need to worry about destroying all the cars. Playing through the other levels, levels two, four, five, six, and seven, you can just destroy one row of cars or one column and then just walk up that column and let the rest of the cars just go off the bottom of the screen. It might not be as fast to do it that way. You might be better off actually destroying all the cars, um, but it certainly makes it easy. Overall, this game, I don't, I don't even know what to say about it uh, as far as reviews go. I mean, it's a puzzler, but it's extremely rudimentary. Um, there are some levels that might be challenging if you want to try to complete them in fewer than the max number of moves but if your primary focus is the achievements which mine was then that's really not going to be a concern which means it's an extremely easy completion and honestly it's not one that i plan on going back to obviously uh, this is just another one of those easy gamer score games it's not a terrible game it, it was okay as a puzzler it was you know reason reasonably enjoyable for an hour but it's not one that I'm, you know, wanting to go back and try to go further or try to get to higher levels or anything like that. But that's kind of par for the course. We all know what we're getting into when we play these types of games. Still, though, if you love puzzles and you love puzzle games, it, it's, it's definitely different. It's a little offbeat. It's not your typical puzzle game. Um, it's strange and kooky, but in, an, in a good way. But just 
you know, it, it, it just is what it is. It's, it's a simple game for simple gamer score. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it makes your completion a little bit easier. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.